This episode of the Long Run Podcast is sponsored by Sketches. Hello, everybody. It's seven o'clock. It's Friday night. It's the long run podcast and live stream. Welcome along if you're joining us on YouTube and Facebook. And if you're not, and if you've got us on your long run on your um, on your headphones, during, getting out there on Sunday or Monday or whenever, welcome along as well. We are brought to you by the 40 Runs Running Community and our generous sponsors, Sketches. I'm Ian Wilkerson, and tonight we'll be discussing a variety of topics, including our running heroes. And also, whether it's a good idea to run in headphones or not, and various other sort of like running habits that we have. So to help me do that, I'm joined by Mr. Chris Ford and Miss Sabrina Ahmed this way. And Toby is back, pressing all the right buttons and making us sound wonderful. So welcome along, everybody. How are we doing? Not bad. I've got to give. <clears throat> I've got to do. I've got to do two shout outs. Uh, an evening, everybody. Are we ready for this? Are we ready to go? I'll just give a bit of everyone. I'm a bit demob happy tonight. And I did um, jump on 10 minutes ago and say, right, guys, what are we talking about tonight? Just as a heads up, okay? Um, but I'm demob happy because um, I'm down in tools for two weeks. But before we do that, um, we want to hear from you. Comments, questions, whatever you want to talk about, stick it in the, um, the chat thing as always. Uh, make sure you whack that in there and we will definitely answer questions. I've also got, stay there. We're not shout bad, out to, right? Oh, I've got to give a shout out to JBS, big fan of the channel, uh, and um, just generally all around guy. He sent me these, which I don't know they're going to come out. They're going to come out. He sent me some Flash Harry shoes that mm. I've been running in, Adios Pro Freeze. That his shoes, he done ten miles and sent them to me, and he said, "Fully, I need you to try these." I love that man. So big shout out to him. Um, and also got a big shout out to um, the captain, Matt Della, Football Shirts for Dementia. Please check out Matt's new YouTube channel, Football Shirts for Dementia, if you're into football and, and all that kind of stuff. But it's also an important part because he's talking about dementia. He's raising money for for that, a charity based around dementia. It's an important thing that we need to talk about. Uh, it's particularly a nice thing to do because yeah. many of you may remember during lockdown, during um, as members of the 40 Rounds Road community, Matt played an absolutely pivotal and a great role in doing weekly quizzes and things like that on, um, what do you call it? Yeah. Zoom. The, That's the, the group, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've been on Zoom quizzes and things like that, keeping everybody talking, keeping everybody together. Yeah. And nice. now we'd like to sort of like repay that favour, really, and give him a push for this uh, new project of his, which is mm -hmm. obviously aiding a brilliant cause so yeah. um we wish you all the best of luck with that matt and look, uh look we said all our right. best wishes mate yeah exactly and then lastly big announcement which i put out today uh we've teamed up with start fitness uh which is the uk's uh, biggest running cycling and fitness store um and they we've teamed up with them we're going to be doing some work with them on the youtube channel um and hopefully that goes beyond that they're going to be at the national running show we'll come on to that in a second but um We've teamed up with them. So you can use uh, code 40 runs, all one word, to get 10% off their website. I don't, I don't think the bikes and the frames are included, but if you like running and stuff, uh, fueling, hydration. I got some Morton gels off of them before all this was done, and they were the cheapest place to go, and those things aren't cheap. So big shout out to them tonight. Um, they're not sponsoring the pod. I don't get paid a penny, just as a heads up, right? So because I want to be transparent as always. There's no affiliate link or anything like that. I'm not getting a kickback like some of these people on Instagram. It's a straight up 10% off. You crack on, do whatever you want to do. But they're helping me with some of the projects that we're working on on the YouTube channel, which is great news. And I'm so pleased to have them on board and supporting us. So big love to them. But yeah, the National Money Show, don't forget you get your free tickets because we're going to be there. We're doing one of these live. Keep your questions coming. You're you're close to breaking Wilco and the mailbox, guys. Cool. I'll be Keep rushed on my feet. Keep coming in with the emails because basically it drives Wilco to distraction, which is great news. So keep mm -hmm. piling in the emails to Wilco. Longmanshow at gmail.com. Good lad. So get that in there. 
and uh, make sure you send us questions for well every, any week as well, but also the National Radio Show. You get free tickets uh, for the National Radio Show in Birmingham. And I think, again, the code's 40 runs, I think. Mm. And Ooh. haven't you got something going on with the Great South Run as well? Oh, yeah, we've got a competition. Yeah, blimey, it's a busy week. It's so all we're happening. Giving, we're giving away. Uh, it makes me laugh. People say, oh, all he's in this for is for money and doing this all for himself, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're giving away two free tickets to the Great South Run. Um, so all you've got to do is go over to Instagram, follow 40 Runs, comment on that post, and you'll, you know, get in with a chance of drawing out two places for their 10-mile run, which is a great run. Um, in down in Portsmouth, great South Run. We're giving away. Yeah, I'm now. doing it for the first time. Looking forward to it. It's going to be good. So there you go, right? So again, giving the people what they want. So, so just we before we get started on what we're going to do this week, I just want to give you a quick out because we're actually getting a bit of getting a bit organised, and we've got a few sort of like things what? coming up on the show in the next couple of weeks that I wanted to talk about. So, uh, firstly, um, next week we won't be live. It's going to be an email special that we're going to record after this one. So um, we're going to plough through some of your things because. Um, Various people are away. Things are going on, and um, so we're going to do a we're going to do a pre-record. So next week will be an email special, and then hopefully we'll clear the way for all the other emails that we're going to get over the next few weeks because we've got a couple of really important specials coming up on the nineteenth. Um, we'll be looking forward to the uh, group park run um, trip to Wales, which happens the following day. But also within that, um, we're going to look at um, look at some. Um, subjects that are of particular relevance to um female runners so um if um you've got any questions for subjects such as menopause menstrual cycles um unfortunately safety and things like that and uh or pregnancy anything that affects exclusively female runners then please send them to longrunshirtgmail.com and we'll get through them and we'll try and answer your questions on that and then the following week on the 26th we're going to be joined by a psychotherapist Gary Lane, and we're going to be having a uh, mental health special. So we're going to be talking about how um, living a healthy lifestyle um, and running can aid your mental health and little tips about how you can improve that side of your well-being. So that's all coming up in the next few weeks. Well busy. Busy, busy, busy. busy. I know it's all good stuff, though, isn't it? I mean, that's a good one to get on. I I, I, uh, wanted really, I've been desperate to get someone who's qualified to talk about mental health and the benefits of running. We all, you know, know it and stuff. But I wanted to know the sort of what actually goes on and, and, and talk to somebody who's qualified to talk about it because I think that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. But I think the women um yeah. insight special that admin's going to be running is, is going to be awesome. Admin, you're looking forward to that one. Yeah, I can't wait. I think there's so many topics that we don't talk about or don't talk about often enough. Uh so having a forum and a platform to talk about that really openly and honestly. So please guys send in all your emails and questions and stuff that's on your mind because it can be a bit no holds, no bars held and just get everything mm. out there. So, yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, we do bear in mind that, you know, the, the majority of members of 40 Runs are female. So yeah. this is a problem. And, this is, yeah. and you know, we've talked about sort of like, um, you know, the menopause and big, big, it's a big issue and it's sort of like affects like a core of the group yeah, so we're really ple- you yeah know, we're really looking forward to having a chat about that and yeah. hopefully allaying a few fears and building on other people's experiences and things like that so hopefully that'll be really helpful and and there should be a few different women that night uh different yeah. age, different backgrounds and experiences and also shout out to hayden who put a lovely post out yesterday about yeah it's a good post in this mm. um which was very very kind and very sweet so thank you hayden yeah. who's actually yeah. in, He's the in florida still, still. Yeah, he's, he's still on holiday, so don't give him too much sympathy. Co-host is still on, mm. still on holiday, lazing about, when doing he nothing. Come? What? I don't think he'll ever come back. Oh, no, he's got to come back. So we need him to co-host. Well, I did have, um, I, I, I felt a bit guilty about moaning about my altercation with a goose the other day when he was running along and was there were alligators chasing him on his um, trips around the Florida Keys and things. So. Uh, yeah, that all I've, just, I've just seen two sheds, Glenn. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. You can have an all-women podcast. We, well, not just for one week. That's what we want, like, on a permanent basis, to be honest with you. So it's a regular thing. Yeah. Um, this is where we're trying to move the conversation and move the topics. That's exactly where hmm. we're going. We um, like to do variety, and we'll, we will chat yeah. about whatever you want to do. So if there's demand to talk about a particular subject, let us know. Bung us an email. Put it on the Facebook group. And um, we, yeah, we'll cover it. We'll tr- we'll cover it. We'll try and talk about it ourselves. But if not, we'll do our darndest to 
find an expert in that particular field who can help us out. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about experts in the field, hmm. now, Sunday, people might have seen um, the video of um, Toby looking a bit of a forlorn <laughs> character in a field. <laughs> um, hmm. After, well, I think you and um, Si might say, Chris, that he was challenged, whereas I think Toby would probably say he was stitched up. I would say he was stitched up. From... He wasn't stitched up. I don't, I don't see that as being stitched up. Well, which bit would you say was anybody who's not seen the video? Check it out. It's because we ran to the airport, so check that out. Um, Tobe, do you feel like you were stitched up on Sunday? I feel like the route might have been slightly longer than the one I was sent and slightly different. Well, I was in charge of being sent the route. Uh, all I knew is we was running along the river. Yeah, but things change. You've got to be adaptable. Yeah, you've got to be adaptable. Just just another eight miles, isn't it? What was a shame, right? Being uh, right, the, the, what you didn't see on that video, which was the best, the best bits. Unfortunately, didn't make the video because I I took the GoPro and I took the Insta, and the GoPro we found out when I got back to the edit for whatever reason wasn't picking up any sound. And so if you're into YouTube and cameras and that, don't buy a GoPro. The things are terrible. Um, it's it, it's always breaking, right? And it's a GoPro ten. It's the latest model and it's terrible. But we realised the whole thing that we filmed on the GoPro had no sound. And we got to um, the, like, not the halfway stage, like 16, 17 miles. There was like a cafe that we planned to stop at to get some uh, drinks. And he was in bits. I mean, I thought he was done, right? Well, he was done. But he was like, he didn't know where he was. But me and Sai on the camera, we were absolutely hammering him, like killing him. It was brilliant. But none of it made none of it made the video. Not like, even when we got through into Stan's airport, he was being so miserable. It was it was quality that we missed all this audio. <laughs> so you actually only got 50% of, of the um of the true journey to the airport. But it was it was one of the best, most fun runs ever. But it, it is what I don't know which point it was. There was a bit in the video. I asked Toby a question, he just walked straight past me at the rate. <laughs> <laughs> he had to write me up. It was so funny. The, the, the best bit about it is that Toby had to pay for the Uber home. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't yeah. make him pay. We made him, we made him pay for the cab home. Oh, so uh, Chris locked his phone oh well, I watched this video and thought it was great. And now, you know, my sympathies have completely revealed. <laughs> Have you any sympathy? Like, the boy deserved it. And I didn't get the Burger King you promised me. What? Yeah, get the because, King. yeah, but that's because to be fair, none of us really fancied it. We was all talking about food the whole way, and then we got there because it was so hot. We went, nah, I couldn't eat anything. And we do none of us felt like anything to eat. And I'm glad oh, he did. Got the he worst good. drink ever from Burger King. Oh, it was rank. And Stancy Airport was so busy because of uh, holiday travel. It was like they we just walked in. When we was running up the bus lane, the securities are just looking at us going. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> it was it was funny. It was yeah. Funny. It wasn't. It was um, it was definitely a memorable video. So if you got yeah, the it was chance, a good one. check that it out. Was, it was out good. on the YouTube channel. Have that we got was, some um, stuff because I've seen loads of stuff coming through. What we got? I mean, early doors. Yeah. So uh, we've got a question from Two Sheds Glen actually, and he said he's training for the Great North Run, but he keeps getting a calf strain and then having to take a week off. Um, have you got any tips for that? Uh, yeah, just go and see a. Uh, it sounds obvious. Go and see a physio. Someone sees, knows what they're talking about. I'm not obviously qualified in terms of uh, again surprises many people, but I'm not qualified to talk about injuries like that. Or you know, I'll get their advice, get you some stretches, get you some exercises. But you know, you need mm. to obviously. I would say strengthen other areas. If you're if you're putting that much strain on your calf, you've probably got a weakness somewhere else that you need to work. That was um, I had um, I had an issue like that after Edinburgh. Where I had a calf problem, and then I went to see the physio, and it was related to um, glute. a weak glute. Yeah, it usually so is. It might, it might not be a disaster. Don't think I've oh, got to won't be nah. able to do it or anything. But, but it, we've got yeah. you've got a month. Book something up this week. Go and see somebody who knows what they're talking about. Yeah, you, they, they might be able to do some. I don't know, dry needling or whatever in it to ease it off somewhere. But mm. whenever whenever I've come across calf strains with clients of mine, I you know, talk to is it's usually relates to weak glutes because you're putting then a lot of stress through the through the car. Right, what else we got? Uh Joseph Souza is watching as he flies from Washington DC to Orlando. Amazing. Yeah, what a legend. Um, what a legend. He's going to see Aiden. <laughs> um now that you've reviewed the A6 Gel Kano 29, what's hmm. your recommendation for a stability shoe this year? Uh guide 15. 
still the guy 15, I would say. The Kayano is the Kayano. It's like the king of stability, but it's 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 been improved this year because of the Flight Phone Blast Plus they put in it. But it's still relatively heavy, over 11 ounces, and it is a shed load of money at 165 quid. Um, so I wouldn't usually, you know, when it's that the new ones are that much money, I say go and get the old model because it's like values there, but the old model's very firm. So I would I would go and get the guide 15, or I'd even look at the Sockety Tempest, which is still 165 quid, but you've got the power on PB in there. But the guide 15 as a daily trainer with stability, and it's just a, it's just a joy. It really is an absolute joy. Right, what else we got? Uh, whereabouts in Wales are the guys doing the park run? Okay. Yeah, they are doing it at the Seven Bridge. It's a Seven Bridge park run, and then they're all going for a jolly at Barry Island afterwards. There you go. Marion Evans, you've got your answer there. Um, and then from Dermot, who said, Tyree definitely got stitched up, but he's got respect for getting it done. It was a brilliant video. And he says, nice. plans on running in Ireland this year. Oh, we'll yes, go. Yes, me. I'm going yeah. to Dublin. I'm doing the we'll... Dublin Marathon. And I'm also toying with the idea of next spring uh, doing the marathon in Belfast. So I'd be interested to hear anybody's reviews or views on uh, whether that's a good run, because I'm that's a possible one. Putting that down maybe as a uh, as a spring marathon for next year if I don't get into London. We'll come to Ireland if there's a challenge for us. We're happy to take on a challenge if it's in Ireland. We're current. We're currently looking for canals and boats. I'm not going to say any more than that. But if you um, if you've got a challenge for us to do in Ireland, we'll come over. We don't mind. We don't mind. We'll get someone to pay for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, pro two maybe stable enough. Question. I think he was referring to the um, question around the Kano twenty nine. Is the pro the pro twos? Well, Wilco, you tell him about the pro two. I mean, you yeah, I'm liking him lots. Yeah, yeah. It's um, the only it's reservation I've got at the moment that I haven't Ooh. run in them it, um, yet is I haven't run them in the wet, and they don't seem to be much of a grip. No, on the outsole on them's pony. Uh, on the Sockney Speed two Pro two Sockney Shift two. Even the guide and ride, the outsoles are unfortunate. It's the only thing that lets Sockney down are their outsoles. The new one on the Pro is better, the X, whatever it is. Um, but the pattern and the coverage on that and the and the new Speed mm. Three is better. But those so shoes. I've got my reservations of how. I mean, obviously, if I'm if I'm running a wet road race, I'm going to run in them. But I'm just I've got my reservations about running my training runs in them once the weather turns a little bit and it gets a bit colder. I'd get another pair. Will come. I'd get another yeah. pair. Yeah, get another pair. Get a couple of pairs. They're cheap uh, now. Nice yeah. white ones. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. That everyone can answer. What's the biggest jump you've had in a PB? What distance and what was the biggest jump? Oh, blimey. Shall I go first? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in marathon, I went from 5.15 to 4.40, so 35 minutes. Oh, that's going to beat me. And I think half yeah. I went from, I think I shaved off 12 minutes, I think was the biggest jump so they're mine oh, i don't know that's it that's, oh, oh, mine's that's... about 12 minutes i did the last um the last half i did before um lockdown was 210 at cambridge and then the one afterwards i did um the Hertfordshire one at nebworth and i did 158 and that's still my best yeah probably 11 11 minutes on my marathon time as a guess yeah yeah, 11 minutes, 11. I mean, you're talking one hit, yeah? So from one race to the next, another race, yeah? Probably, yeah, probably in the marathon time. I snuck in a sub four and then went 348. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Joe? Does Toby even remember what running is? No, I don't think he's got, remember, he's got, he's, remember he's got a lazy, what is it now? You've got a lazy what? Ankle. Friend. I've got a lazy friend. No, he's got a lazy ankle. He's been moaning all week about his ankle. There's nothing wrong what with it. Happened? What? I you mentioned have. it yesterday. There's been no moaning. Oh, I mentioned that's it. what you said. Yeah. Tell us, Toe. Tell us about your ankle. Because like we could pretend to care for five seconds. Go. I'm, I'm going to pretend I'm caring. I think, oh. I, think I've, I've shaved about 12 minutes off my half time. I think that was it last year. Oh, yeah, you did. did yeah. You smashed the life out of that. At that um... But I think you're more likely to do it on a half in a marathon because you don't do them as often. Yeah. Whereas a sort of 5K, 10K, you probably slowly chip away at them. Mm. Yeah. You sort of do big training blocks for the bigger races and then... Mm. Yeah. Oh, by it. the way, if anybody wants to come to South End with me and Ben and everyone else, we're, we're still planning our Westcliff PB. 
So I think we just get about 3,000 people. So if you're listening to this, uh, email in. What is it, it Wilco? Longrunshow at gmail.com. And we'll send you details. And I think we all just go down Westcliff and run as fast as we can. If you want to beat your park run, PB, that'd be a good laugh, wouldn't it? Yeah. What's that? Someone just put my local part. I was cancelled last week. Uh, the Commonwealth Marathon. Oh yeah, yeah. The because Com- the Commonwealth Games they close on Sunday, right, or Saturday? One of them. Sat- yeah, Sunday, I think. Sunday. This, ha- my, this household, the Fordy residence, Ranch Fordy, has been totally glued to the uh, Commonwealth Games here. The girls and, uh, have been absolutely loving it, and uh, we've got to give a shout out because her name came up on the um, thing we're going to talk about when we actually get around to talking about what we came on to talk about today, uh, was, uh, and I never pronounce her name right, so please correct me. Eilish? Eilish? Eilish. 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 Yeah. I always get it wrong. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so um, she, you know, in terms of the Commonwealth Games, so it's got back to Commonwealth Games. That's but we've got thing. loads of, uh, the reason where I'm going with this, by the way, bear with me, is the volunteers we've got there. So, like uh, Annika, Penny, uh, Paula, and uh, who else is there? There's loads. There's uh, quite a few Paulas actually there as well. So, um, yeah, big shout out to those from the Commonwealth Games today. Uh, I've really enjoyed them actually. Yeah, really because it, you, you've touched upon this. We had um, we put out who um, our running heroes were, don't we? Which was yeah. Um, it was precipitated by a little chat we had after um, we had Kafuzi on last week. What a great show that was. We had a riding full time. And Hayden said, oh, I was going to ask him who his running hero was because he's mine. And we thought, what a great subject. Yeah. So then so we've sort of thrown it open to the floor, haven't we? And yeah, we put I it in. Yeah, lots on. of different names came up. And what I thought was the most pertinent thing to take out of it was that you could divide them both. In, you could divide them into two groups, really. There are people like Ailish McLaughlin, uh, uh, Mo Farah, Kip Chogi, all the real big names. But so many people nominated their contemporaries and the people they go with and the people who inspire them every day to get out and do the run. I thought that was really um that was yeah, quite that, telling. Yeah, that was that was quite um evident. Yeah. Um in terms of that poll was that you had you yeah, you had those let's call them elites or whatever. Superstars, yeah. And then you had, you know, the you know, the other side of the coin, you know, and, and it was, yeah, it was, it was a really interesting post, I would say. Mm. So who's yours then? Let's go around. Who's your running hero then? So are we allowed to now split this into two? Well, the way you can nominate whoever you like, mate. Well, are we going on the thing that, you know, so again, if you're listening to this as the podcast, you're out running or whatever, mm. send us in to whatever it is.com. com. Long run show at gmail.com. Um, and tell us who your running hero is uh, or heroes. Hmm. For me, I would think um, from a from a running point of view, um, it's probably it, it probably is Mo because he was probably the most prolific in terms of when I was really, really, really getting into my running. You know, he was there. You know, winning all those medals and, and doing what he's doing. That said, you know, I've still got massive admiration for. Um, Kip Chogi, obviously, and people like that. But I think Mo was because being a Brit, so prominent, um, probably stands out in terms of that. I still like. I tell you, what I really like listening to is Steve Cram mm. uh, when he talks, when he commentates, and um, what's his face, Mike Johnson on the uh, on the Johnson, TV. Yeah. I could listen to it that dude forever. But in terms of heroes, yeah, I'd say thing. Um, and then in terms of sort of running heroes, I'm going to be a bit soppy and a bit sentimental. I, I would say pretty much everybody in the 40 runs group. Now that's not me being just like overly mushy, but there's so many people that I, you know, I, in there that do genuinely inspire me, whether it's, you know, Michael Wilkes or, yeah, we met, I put on there Billy, you know, from where, what Billy did, you know, there's Helen, you know, there's, and you know, but not just, the normal faces it within the community, but every everybody that posts in there that's getting it done, you know, and out there, Ian Wilson, you know, and just and smashing it, and, and they generally do, you know, inspire me. Honestly, I can't, you know, I, I know it sounds a bit soppy and a bit whatever, but it is, it is true. And the fact um, they're all lovely as well helps. Well, yeah, you, but you, you know, and that's the great thing about you know the Facebook group that we've got. You see those posts, you see that they're inspiration. And some days when you're like thinking. You know, I'll sack it off this afternoon. And you see something like that, 
or you get the FOMO and, and, and or you see somebody who's gone out and pushed to push themselves to get a PB or push themselves to get their first 5k done. It genuinely is inspirational stuff, you know? Um, or if it's like, sounds funny, but like Petra doing her first run director as, as a part run again, inspirational stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like, it's like all the volunteers who do 40 runs, you represent 40 runs at, at different events, all heroes. So yeah, it's a bit soppy, I suppose, but mm. Yeah, that's where I'm at on, on that kind of stuff, really. What about you, Wilco? Well, I mean, the people I... I mean, people obviously talk about... Um, I mean, Ailish came up, and, you know, and it happened to be this week that it was, you know, one of it, and what a brilliant race it was. And, but being, you know, there is obviously a recency bias and all that. I think from a sort of professional point of view, I, I really admire the people who ran marathons 100 years ago and, you know, who didn't have, you know, the the scientific and the technical sort of stuff they did that they literally were just pushed out and said, go on in mate, run 26 miles. And they went yeah. and did it. And I'd love to, there's, there's nothing, there's no sort of details about how these people, I'd love to do more research and sort of like find out more about these sort of people. Do you remember when I, I, I remember, I think I mentioned this before. I used to spend some time with a gentleman called Chris and he was that, um, he's an older gentleman. He's not allowed to run anymore because he's got heart conditions. He's over like he's nearly eight years old, and he was the one who was like pushing out sub three hour marathons. And he was, you know, the stories he would tell me about his training. And don't forget, he didn't have carbon plated shoes, Garmin watches, Morton gels, which, by the way, are a waste of money. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> and, and you know, he, he didn't have all this compression and all that. He literally just mm. had a cotton vest, probably like three inch shorts, and just went out and run. What a, yeah. what a legend. And then to go out and smash those sort of times. You're mm. absolutely right. Um, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. you. I'd you love wonder. to have a dig around and sort of yeah. like find out a bit more about these sort of people. Mm. And there is one person that I must mention. Um, now, this is somebody who is not well known, but I've never met either. Um, when I was, his name is, uh, his name's Mark Rogerson. He lives, uh, he lives on Merseyside, he lives in St. Helens. Um, now I got to know him through, well, sort of like indirectly through work because, um, I was on Twitter when I was covering American football at the post for the, the racing post. And, um, he was just a normal punter. He just got, a, and he'd sort of like chat with you and various sort of stuff. And we developed all the good things that Twitter should be, not the, not all the crap, the really nice sort of stuff. I got to know him. He's like a top bloke. And then about 10 years ago, he had some devastating news in the, um, he found out that both his retinas had been disconnected in his eyes. Blimey. So he lost his sight. Mm. He went completely blind in his right eye and he's just got peripheral vision in his left. And um, obviously very traumatic, young lad, very traumatic thing to happen mm. to anybody. And um, his mum and dad, um, his mum and his sister ran a half marathon to raise some money for the charity that looked after him and all that. And then he suddenly woke up and thought, why did they do it? Why don't I do it? And he started running and he's done four London marathons. He's done yeah. Boston. He's done Chicago. There's a brilliant video of him at Chicago where he's gone off before and he's on the side of the road with his guide. And then Mo Farah and all the elites just come whoosh straight past him. What, an, what a legend. An absolute legend. And when, you know, this all happened four or five years before I started running. But when I started tweeting about going for runs and stuff like that, he could not have been more encouraging to me. You're doing great. Sign up for a marathon. You'll love it. And he's pushed me all the way. And I've never had the pleasure of meeting him. But he is definitely my running hero. So really reach out. Get him on the me. channel. You've just made me think of two people. One, Roger in the group. Blind runner. Legend. Absolute legend. Love that guy. Uh, and the people who guide run for him also need a shout out as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, Stu Edwards and, and Petra, I think, has done it. And yeah. other people, you know, the guide runners, amazing people as well. But I just thought the celebrity was, um, the, it really got in, uh, on the marathon was Eddie Izzard. Do you remember when he was raising money and he mm. did all those crazy challenges? Um, whether you like him, don't like him or her or, or, you know, how I don't know what she comes, you know, refer to her as at the moment. Mm. But what an amazing inspirational person when running all those marathons that that was sorry that just came back to me then when you said that um what about you sabrina um mine's someone that we know so i was racking my brains on this when i saw the running order and um, mine's a postie 
<laughs> oh, what a legend. <laughs> well, I kept coming back and I was thinking, I'm so lucky. And to Chris's point, and everyone said it, look, this group's full of amazing and lovely people. And I have the pleasure of coaching and, and running with lots of people. And the ladies that come out on a Monday night that have never run before to, to people. Amazing. Multiple marathons, right? But the posty for me sums up everything about just what it is to be a decent person and a decent runner. And um, he's run with me in some races and pulled me out some pretty dark times. And people that know the post, he knows he, he's not the most talkative guy, but mm. when he's needed and he's there and he's reliable, mm. he's consistent. There is no one. And I, I genuinely think this is any of our uh, satellite groups that we run down here. So Broxbourne, Hartford, the ladies and men mixed everything that commits like he does but also no one that is as encouraging and supportive to your point, Wilco, about your hero. Like when I came back from Edinburgh, his smile was from ear to ear at the fact that I PB'd. And I mean, he had run sub four, four weeks mm. before. And I'd been over the moon and tracking him on the app, but just his support, encouragement, and just his general kindness and his decency just speaks volumes. So he's my he's my hero for the night. It tells you everything you need to know about post here. I can't remember what night it was. Was it Wednesday? We he came down to club, um, and one of our ladies from Monday night came, and uh, w w they went up for a warm up uh, lap, and um, nice chatty thing. Posty, the ladies are a run walker, just starting out. Posty stayed at the back, ran with her. What a legend! Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And that tells you everything you need to know about Posty. And that tells you, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one. We give his you? real name, really. Yeah, yeah. We've had Posty on, haven't we? He's, he's been on the show. Um, yeah, he's been on. Yeah. So, and don't say me because that's embarrassing. <laughs> and, although I didn't take the bribe you were trying to give me earlier. Yeah. I'm still not going to say you. I'll make the, I'll make tomorrow's run 19 miles. Go on. Well, I've just been thinking about this for about five minutes while you've been talking. Obviously, I don't prepare for anything. <laughs> Even less than you. You can tell that from the room behind um, you. Go on. It's, it's a working, working studio. Mm. Um, you, you, hang on, no, hang on. Oh, tight. No, I'm like, sorry. No, that's that's nearly as bad as your. I've got an active job. That is no <laughs> way. If you're li if you're listening to this on the podcast, Toby's room. Again, I refer to it is a magnolia dumping ground of, of Turk, right? <laughs> and he's just referred to it as a studio. Do you want to retract that? No. Oh, yeah. not at all. It is. It's it, not. He's going to forget who his hero is in a minute. Yeah, go on, tell us who your hero yeah, is. Um, mine started on. So I never. I didn't really follow running ever. Because I hate it every week. Yeah, I on. hated it. I was always the fat kid at school that played in goal, so you didn't have to run anywhere. That was me. <laughs> Some things haven't changed much. That um, paints a picture, doesn't it? Um, I hated sport and all that sort of stuff. And then the thing that got me into running was just everybody. So watching London Marathon on TV and just everybody that just went out there to do their own thing. Yeah. And run the London Marathon, whether it's their first time or they've done 10 times, it doesn't matter. But that's what I was sort of on sitting there on TV going, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. And that's what got me into running. So technically, I suppose they are. The 50,000 runners or whatever. The great yeah, general mate, British right. yeah, well, That's a good shout. Yeah. Mine is Hayden Harbord. Oh, running, he's always there encouraging me. Think, uh, making sure everyone's okay. Yeah, mate, you're right. Hayden's another hero of mine. I mean, I, I you know, I've blown smoke up his bum. He's not here. Co-host, large in, in, in Florida. Um, but yeah, Hayden's another inspirational person, I think, you know, who, who looks after everybody, takes care of people. You know, what he did in End of Rush, you know, inspired me again to pick myself up and go again. You know, when I saw him burning it past me. And yeah, and he's always got that, you know, care, not carefree attitude is the wrong word, but he's always got that positive spin, you know, on on life and on running and, and just general. He's always like, yeah, don't worry about it. We, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Whoever that is, Facebook user, we can't see your name because Toby's not put the link in. Yeah, shop. shout whoever you are. Uh, and yes, I do agree. Is Rudy still on holiday? Hundred percent agree with you there. Um, dig him out a little bit. Yeah, any, but, yeah. any holiday that goes into the third week is taking the mick, if you ask me. Yeah, exactly. I'm limiting myself to two weeks. Then, yeah, then, you know, that's it. You know, I'm not doing any max. Yeah, you want the third week. No, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so you can't pay. Well, you could pay for it. I'll take it. I want mine. You can't see it, but down here, 
is like a mountain of clothes. Well, it's mainly running stuff. Um, that sort of Mrs. Ford just keeps walking past, looking at with a sort of, you actually going to do that? Anything about that look? Do you know what I mean? It's like, but I, I will pack at some point. Got to get so, on that. So we'll just talk about this just briefly, Chris. So you, you've you've mentioned as well that it's a good, you're taking a good opportunity just to recharge your batteries as well from your running. Yeah, I mean, as I, I think I said it before on, on here, uh, we came out of Edinburgh, which didn't go to plan, and then we fell into another plan because we had, um, what was it? South End uh, came up, and then we sort of just, because I'm doing Amps, uh, London, then Amsterdam, I had to start early versus the boys uh, admin because uh, the, the Amsterdam marathon is a little bit later. It's two weeks. <laughs> She's like, she, you are doing it. Um, it's two weeks. It's two weeks later. Um, so I had to start earlier, earlier than those guys. So I didn't actually get, like Hayden said, he always likes to have a week off after a marathon. I, I just carried on. Mm. Um, all right. Yeah. I, I slowed down, you know, a lot at the end of that marathon. So my recovery was a lot quicker. Um, but I, I all, when I put my plan together for this training block, I put in there two weeks of downtime. More mentally to recharge. Um, I want to I wanna switch my phone off. Obviously, we're heavy users of social media on 40 Runs, and, and what we do is a lot of social media-based stuff. Um, I want to switch off from that because, you know, one of the side effects is of putting yourselves out there. You get all the all the haters and, you know, all the stuff that comes along with that. And it does take a toll. Uh, I'm not, you know, looking for sympathy, but it does take a toll. You get all the people who are trying to cause mischief for you because they, they just don't like you or whatever. That takes a toll. People who you think, you know, looking after you and out for you and turn out they're not, that takes a toll. So, you know, I, I need to recharge mentally. I want to spend uninterrupted time with my girls. That's the most important thing to me. I haven't had holiday since whatever it is, eight, 2018 or whatever it is. Um, so I just really, 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 really can't wait to just switch off and recharge. Running will take, I will run when I fancy running. And if my brother-in-law's flying out, so he'll probably drag me around in about two minutes and ten, for, for a 10K. But it'll be nice, you know, to, to run. But when I, when I fancy it, you know what I mean? It's not like I've got to get up, I've got to do six runs this week and I've got to get that mileage done. I'm not interested. I'm going to be cross training on the Lilo, um, and that's that. It's like that, isn't it? It's that sort of motion to the other side to to get told off from from Nick because I haven't done something, and then sort of go back into the middle because she can't get me. Um, can't so hear yeah, you. Can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Put me put me after shops. <laughs> the swimming ones on. So sorry, dear. Couldn't hear. You. Um, but yeah, no. And on a serious point, I I feel like I need to down, and then. I will then pick it up when I get back and I'll, cause I won't lose any fitness. I won't lose any, nothing from it. I'll lose zero. Mm. So for me, it's more of a, say it's more of a mental reset. As I look to go to two marathons, we've got an unbelievably busy September. We've got big half, great North run running up Ben Nevis. Then we've got, I've got the, Am I've got taper Amsterdam marathon. Uh, I'm sorry, London marathon, Amsterdam marathon, Royal parks, uh, some, uh, the Ling Olympic park thing off, whatever it's called and all that sort of stuff. We've got races and stuff coming at me. Le left, right, saying I'm doing a lot of traveling. I'm away from the girls, so I just want to. I just want to make the most of it, you know, and, mm. and enjoy. But say more than anything else, mentally reset and not let running rule my life, which it does currently. Got there in the end. No, it sounds good. Yeah, it sounds like you know something that we could all sort of like. Yeah, take a bit do of it. Effort. Do it. Just go. It won't you know, hurt. if it you go hurt. away, don't feel in your marathon training. I've got. Two people I'm coaching at the moment, you know, and big shout out actually to Chris because uh, uh, he's in Florida, um, where Hayden is. Uh, but they're both, you know, were worried about taking time off during their train. I was like, no, don't worry about it. it that makes no difference. It just, it's just crack depending on. Depending where you are, so it can actually, you can feel so much better yeah. after sort of yeah. two weeks off. And yeah. actually, you go and do a race if, after that. It's almost like a mini taper, isn't it? And you actually yeah. feel in a much better place and a lot freer. Yeah. I quite like doing it. I'll yeah, do it a lot. You've got, you've got to free your mind up, people. I, I use it, say it to, to my clients, you know, remove the baggage, free your, free yourself up in, in your mind. And and, and it's a, it is a big, it's a big winning ticket to take. You know, if you can free your mind up, unload some of that baggage, leave it to the side, 
freewheel it for a couple of weeks, it, it's going to have a positive effect mentally and physically because, again, you're not going to lose anything in terms of fitness. Um, and and, and you'll, you'll feel so much better for it coming out the other side. It's, uh, and don't don't be scared to turn off those phones, people. It's, uh, that's, honestly, there's a lot of hate out there, a lot of mistrust out there. Switch off your phones. It's, it's a good thing to do just, you know, for this up here. really is. <laughs> you to if you phone two what? weeks no messages going admin admin no yeah. i am i'm gonna get there no i've had a brilliant idea well, it's oh, oh, don't worry. Our, when he comes back it's just gonna be like we're just gonna have a list of about yes. two pages i mean there is that there is the issue of somebody who does struggle with adhd that i'm gonna need to make some form of lists along the way okay but i <laughs> promise that I, instead of doing it on my phone I'll do it with one of my three pads that I've got next to me. I'll take one of them away. And if I think of anything, which I guarantee I will, because there's always, if somebody does struggle, your brain's like fried. I'll just write it down. Then what I'll do is I'll give everybody a piece of paper when I get back. Jobs for you. Brilliant ideas for you. <laughs> things to discuss on the pod. Things that we could be doing better. Brilliant, brilliant things that we can make Toby do where he's going to throw up and, you know, die. <laughs> Stuff like that. I'll write it all down. I might even buy more pads when I'm out there. Put it all together. Each of us. What? Got a pad for each of us and size. So when you get back, you're just going to hand us one each and say. Yeah, yeah we'll all I'll get be, like a presentation pack. I'll be, I'll, yeah, like I've been thinking about Russell in Wales. He's been my my thoughts this, this week because me and Russ are doing London together. So I, I can't read. Two sheds, Glenn, I can't read. But I, I can't. If, if you spend any time with me, and these guys can quantify Guys, can I read? Have I have I got the capacity to read a book? Can't sit no, still. No. After three seconds, I'm I've moved on to something else. Um, but yeah, so uh, Russell from Wales because we're running London together. So I might I might do him a list as well. So he might he might get a list ready for so he's prepared for to run with me in London. <laughs> I don't a list of your pacing strategy that he's got to keep to as opposed. To yeah, I know again. what Russell's going to do. He's going to go. This is great. I've got, I'll meet with 40. We'll have a chat, blah, blah, blah. But start line. See you later, 40. I'm running at 320 pace. Try and keep up if you want to chat. It'll be it'll be one of those. It'll just, you know, and I will because I'm an idiot. I'll he's going to be super fit running up all those hills, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, uh, he's going to be on another level. But I'll try and hang on to him just because I've got someone to talk to. Because the, the boys ain't there. They're deliberately not doing London. So they get a, a weekend off, which I think is a bit rude, personally. I don't know. I, 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 I'd be oh, sorry. Man. Um, have we had uh, we've have we had more questions, comments coming in? We've had a oh, loads of comments about running heroes. Uh, there was a question quickly actually: Alpha Fly or Pro Three for New York Marathon? Help. Random. After talking about running heroes, um, what was the question? Running what? Alpha Fly or Pro Three for New York? Uh, I wouldn't go Pro Three for a marathon. Um, I love the shoe, but as a half marathon shoe. And to be honest, if it wasn't 200 and something quid, I'd probably be training in it every day. I absolutely love the thing. Um, so I would say Alpha Flight out of those two. But those Adidas, and I don't like Adidas. They're pretty naughty. I'll just leave that with you. Complicate it even more. Um, and then there's loads of people shouting out their marathon or running heroes. So mm. Mary Evans uh, said one of hers is a Welsh marathon runner called uh, Steve Jones. Uh, Fletch. With the captain for him, so anyone never forget the big half. So captain's one of my the captain's not a running hero of mine. He's just a hero of mine, and I and I'm I don't mean that like I genuinely is, but you know we speak about mental health on here. You know we, it's, it's struggles in, in life, and you know we think with everything, and you know he's just a, he's just an absolutely awesome human being, genuine human being who's who's had my back for years, and I love that guy. So I'm with you, Big Fletch. Yeah. Um, yeah, hundred percent with the captain. And don't forget, we did mention at the top of the show uh, his new channel, Football Shorts for Dementia. So please yes. go yeah. out. Sure, it's it's not shorts. Shorts. But that could be another. Yeah. Cha- I'm going to start that channel <laughs> as a sort of <laughs> side hustle. In I'm my- going to buy football shorts, non-soiled ones, <laughs> and I'm going to put them on YouTube, and we could talk about. It. There you go. Sorry, captain. No, one's got to see your legs even more. No one's got to see many, my legs. Like- this, I'm going to start. I'm going to start putting my legs on YouTube. I'm going to get some of that pure sports stuff that Ben uses because everyone keeps putting their legs on on Instagram stories at the moment, showing their pure sport. I'm going to do the same, but I'm not going to use pure sport. I'm going to use what can I use? 
What about that Manscaped stuff we used to have? Manscaped. I'm going to use. I'm going to shave my legs on Instagram. There we go. <laughs> Just time to keep everybody occupied. Oh, that put a few on the gate, wasn't it? And talking about, look, how good is this as a link, right? Because if you've not followed 40 Runs on TikTok, our social media expert, Scarlett Rose Ford, is absolutely killing it on um, TikTok. Um, she's, she's so good. I tell she you told you off again. It blows so, my mind, right? Um, you can see, I play with it once or twice, and you can see the ones that I've done and the ones that Scarlett's like night and day. But follow us on TikTok, people. Get over there. It's all happening on TikTok on Scarlet. I mean, uh, Forty Runs account. Um, but it's uh, the music. So it made me think about the music because it's now linking into the headphones thing. So that, yeah. but see where I'm going. Yeah, we'll yeah. Go. yeah. Go, go. So what was the poll? We're just together, that? folks. You know. Yeah, yeah. We're professionals now. There's, no, there's a reason why this is the second biggest podcast in the UK and the biggest running podcast in Hungary. So go on, Wilco. What was you saying about the headphones poll thing? Yeah, we had a headphones poll, didn't we? Because we were discussing whether they were a good thing and people actually enjoyed um, listening to them. So I was just sort of like, just do a quick... You don't, do you? You're not a headphones man. Well, you know what? I I am, yes. But I have found myself not wearing them. Uh, I don't wear them on long runs because I talk to, to the boys, which I know they mm. absolutely love. They wear their headphones, but I talk over that. Um, so I don't wear my headphones on a, on a long run. I do, t- I do wear them on a race day in a marathon because I find in those dark hours when Toby's left me and Russell will do the same in London um, to put the music on kind of, you know, helps. Will you have them on all the time or will you just have them when the moment comes? No, I'll just, I have them around my neck and then because the chances are in those dark moments, I'm probably walking. So I'll go to my phone, switch it on, get my playlist on and crack on and then sort of, right, it's actually a good little tip. Go through a water station. Why are you having a a, a cup of water and you're walking in the marathon get your phone out find your playlist put it on put it back in your flip belt or whatever once you finish your drink music starts off you go switches you back in you can mm. crack on um, make sure that first song is pumping but I don't I don't use it I, I use headphones to when I'm doing sort of training runs in the week um, I like to listen to um, like just music really Ty will tell you my taste of music he loves it um, what do you mean? What are you pulling the face for? I mean, it's not. Oh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a taste of music. It's the music out of a phone. It's just not phones. No, speak well, oh, that's because they're moaning. Because that's the other thing. So when we did that run, when Tobe was broken in Stansted, I wanted to cheer him up because he he wasn't in a good place. So I thought I'd put. Well, I know I'm fine. I have my headphones on. I'll put some music on to cheer the boys up. They don't like Iron Maiden. No, no one. What's the matter? Oh, it's what I mean. Iron Maiden, and and so I will test him out. He loves it. Loves Iron Maiden, especially the live versions that we have on the playlist. Tobe didn't like it. Anyway, so going back to your point, yes, I do wear headphones. I don't wear them on long runs. I wear them in some races, but I prefer not to. Um, I only put them on for those darker. And um, we would always use the bone conductors. Yeah, I don't wear in-ear. I don't I don't wear in-ear. I just, uh, I just don't see the point. It's, it, I like to hear the site, especially where we live, and you've got the towpaths, and you've got those maniacs on those bikes who think they've got the right of way down the towpath and won't stop or even slow down. But we did. Oh, it was funny the other week. There was a geezer we was running down the river. <laughs> Bless him, right? <laughs> he stopped to let us through, and as he stopped, he's got unbalanced and basically fell in the river. No, <laughs> I kid you not. He actually fell, didn't oh, it? And he, but he rolled the worst to make it worse. He rolled through all the nettles. So he got like double bubble, yeah. And he had no he had no t shirt on. It was true, wasn't it, Toe? He yeah, stopped. We, we, you know, we did offer to help. Oh, yeah, so you just went, right. Oh, cheers, mate, and carried on, did you? Yeah, yeah no, we, we said you're right. Like you tried to style it over by rolling over. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Oh, the poor bloke. I it's couldn't get the fine, camera fine, on. Carry on. Yeah, I couldn't get the camera on because it would it would have been it would have been quality. But yeah, so um yeah, I it, I do like I would recommend if you are wearing headphones to wear the ones. Um Outside of your ear, but what about you, Wilco? Do you do you listen to music? Obviously, you listen yeah. to podcasts, Natch. Yeah, I do. I mean, I quite. It depends what sort of run I'm doing, and whether I, I mean, I will. I'll have my music on most runs, but sometimes if I've got a long run, I'll just have an audio book, and then it's just something in the background. Just yeah. to, like it's like someone chatting to you, really. But then it won't be a sort of book that I've really got to be on the knuckle with, and I need just some sort of travel thing or something like that. Just something to 
that it doesn't matter that you, you're not got to keep abreast of the story or anything you know you don't have to be careful. it's just going on in the background so i'd use that but um i think the, the one of the main benefits is if you get yourself a good playlist you know one of the great joys in life is sitting down with your Spotify account or something or your Apple and just doing yourself a playlist for the afternoon. It's a wonderful way to spend a few hours. But oh yeah, I think if you've got a playlist, then it divides your runs up as well. You know, you're chopping it up in a sort of like, all right, it's two songs till I get home, you know? Yeah, 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 good got, point. You know, if I'm going to run nine, if, if I'm doing a nine-minute mile, two, four and a half minutes, or if you're seven minutes from home and a nice long one comes on you think oh great it's like it's what i call sort of like um it's uh playlist optimization yeah and you no, get mate, the oh. right you get the right i once had the theme of rocky playing on my headphones as i ran up the hill uh, anybody who's done the london marathon i used to run around Grain, uh, greenwich park quite a lot running up the hill with the thing with rocky on or up the steps by the Thames barrier, and you can just sort of like jump there like you're in Philadelphia and celebrate and stuff like that. When it comes off you, like if that, you, if you know, if you if you know roughly what pace you're running, you can actually build a playlist that's, that can really be powerful. It can it can it can really help. What about you, Admin? Uh, I'm a bit random. I only ever listen to music if I'm running in the morning. If so, if I'm going out on my own first thing in the morning, I'll have the radio on because I just like the thought of, it just feels like some conversational someone's talking mm. um but otherwise i don't really wear them i've got a pair of aftershocks so and i do usually have them around my neck in a race because like chris said if you i think it was a tip that you gave me actually have them there have them ready if you hit that dark moment put them on but i am um, i prefer to run not run with them because i feel like i get too caught up in the music and i run to the pace of the song rather than my actual pace which can be mm. dangerous so um so, yeah, so I'm not a massive, not a massive music listener. What about you, pa um, Pasty, uh, Joe. <laughs> Excuse me. Cause you, cause, no, I've just read a comment from Jim on the. Uh, I was just seeing the, and she said about Pasty. Yeah, go on, Joe. Whoever you are, whatever your name is. Um, I do. I I tend to put them on. I always have. Although I found more and more recently, I don't necessarily listen to them. All right, if I'm running up to a session on the satellite groups, and we do that, and I'll forget to turn them back on on the way home. And only realise halfway home. That's the sort of thing I am. But mm. um, but yeah, I don't. I, I do. I quite like the noise there because it reminds me of running with Chris. Just this constant <laughs> little noise in the background that you don't really listen to, mm. um, and it just keeps you going, really. Well, I keep I'll tell you, you one going. thing. I definitely wouldn't do. I wouldn't listen to myself. I keep you going. Is that couldn't what you do that. What? No, you, you keep me going faster to try and get away, yes. You say I keep you going. So basically, what we've confirmed is that I motivate Toby during his runs. Um, I think um, I think whatever I think that the biggest thing that came out of that poll was whatever works for you as always, right? Um many people do many different things, and I think it's all good, right? I just see a comment because I was actually just scrolling back down. I'm gonna say this so badly wrong, so I apologize. The Ray Wit Rahawit. So, apology. Hey, disco recently discovered your videos. Keep them coming. Honest reviews. Nothing too polished. That's a compliment. Thank you. No scoring system. Thank you. Just this is a good or bad shoe. Shoe most excited for in 2022. Uh, they probably all come out, to be honest with you. Um, I did a video about the shoes I was most most excited for. The shoe I'm waiting for to come out, uh, if that helps, is the um, Rebel 2, uh, Rebel 3. And the new Nike Zoomex uh, Nature, Pegasus Nature. I've got a feeling that's going to be terrible. And I can't wait to absolutely hammer Nike again for the third video running for coming out with some absolute tut. Um, so let's uh, let's hope hope and pray that, that Nike stay true to form. They bring another Zigama out and it's terrible. So um, that's the one maybe that I'm probably looking forward to. But thanks for the nice comments. Yeah, I'll try and keep it honest. I mentioned it in the Zagama video. Someone someone said to me that I'm was it too I'm too negative. Um too negative. There's a difference between negativity and honesty. I went, all right, that's interesting. Um hmm. but you can't help but be try I try and balance if I'm being negative about something, I do try and balance it out. Um like but I can't help if something's terrible, I'm gonna say it's terrible. I don't I don't you know, want to lead anybody down a garden path if I don't like something. But just because I say, and I'm being negative, doesn't mean it's it's 
true, right? So, anyway, uh, moving on. Um, oh, so we just, um, I tell you what, Wilco, did you get the email about the Cardiff 10K? I did, yes. Grace Lewis has just mentioned this on the chat. Um, she sent us an email about the Cardiff 10K, which was due to be raced on um, September the 4th. Um, she and the people who um, obviously have entered this event have just been told that it's not going to take place and it's going to be ran as a virtual event. Um, the organisers, I've just, I mean, I've just had a quick glimpse of this before because it came on quite close before we came in there. Um, it's um, saying that um, the event has proved far more challenging than anticipated to achieve given the logistical and operational situations that we have encountered. So it's obviously quite low. It's quite late notice that this um, race isn't going to go on. We don't want to give the organisers a hard time or jump on their shoulder, you know, jump on their backs because we don't know all the details. It's something that we would look into, but we would be interested to hear from you if you have entered the um, Cardiff 10K and uh, received your email and um, what you think about it and um, the situation. With, um, and if there's any sort of questions that come up, then we will endeavour to get them answered for you and uh, contact the organisers. So uh, thanks for bringing this to our attention, Grace. Anyway, that's great. We're like watchdog. I feel like we're... The consumer remember, champions. If anyone can remember that programme, we've washed our face on it. You know, the winking... And Robin. Uh, yeah, uh. Yeah, uh, people we're like the, we're like washing the machines dog. catching fire and all that sort of thing. It is funny, the amount of uh, messages, and thanks everybody does message me uh, on Instagram, or, you know, stuff we get through on the emails. Um, but... You know, where, where people are championing causes that, you know, something's not right or something's happened. And we love that. We love to be the voice of the everyday runner. And if something's, you know, you don't like it or you something, mm. on the flip side, some, you know, give a shout out to some of the events that maybe have done something well, you know, or a, a company that's done something awesome or a charity or whatever um, that's done something good. But we do, we do appear to be getting a lot of stuff from you guys. Thank you very much about... You know, have you seen this? Have you seen that? So keep them coming. We like those, but we in all yeah, but, but we won't. You know, we won't no. just be you know confrontational for the sake no, exactly. of it. We will try That's and um, we'll try and talk to these people. You know, and try and get them on and get give yeah. them right to reply yeah. and um, say that you know people have brought this to our attention. Mm. Would you like to talk about it? And we will give them you know fair a fair shout because. You know, we do appreciate, you know, we we have lived in some difficult times the last few yeah, years. Yeah, and, you know, these are difficult economic times as well, not only for people, but for companies and mm. businesses as well. So yeah. um, we're always interested in being fair to both sides. So that's what we'd try, endeavour to do. But please, if there's an issue that you've seen, then please bring it to our attention. Email us at longrunshow at gmail.com. Yeah. And um, we we'll will follow up. Are we... Um, We've done 58 minutes. God, blimey. Well, uh, uh, all right. On that basis, we better wrap it up. But I'm interested to know what you're running this weekend, Wilco. Um, well, I, did, I'm, I had a day off yesterday, Thursday. So I did my 12 miles yesterday. So I've got uh, six and eight, I think, this weekend. Okay. So right. that'd be what, quite nice. Down the river? Yeah. I don't know which way. Okay. All right. Admin? Uh, I am. I'm going to park run in Alden to volunteer in the morning with Pe Petra. My first time volunteering. So oh, fun. good shout. What yeah. role are you performing? Yeah. Finish tokens. Oh, so, yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. What are you eating afterwards? Yeah. You normally when you go to park run, you go, yeah, you go Maccas. No, but uh, well, I could get Maccas and then drop it off to you lot on my way back because you should be done by the time I finish. Don't no. no. go out your way for them. Um, and then I'm doing the 10k uh, down the Lee Valley, the Sundowner uh, race. At Is that the one we weren't invited to, Tobe? Well, I don't know anything about it. Wilco, okay. was you invited to that? What's this? Yeah, no, obviously mm. not. So no, this is just a Petra and uh, an admin thing. If no, you've obviously not not been invited, but yeah, oh, go and tell us about friends. it. Yeah. So it's, well, it's just 10k. I think they're doing a 10k or a half. So we're going to do 10k tomorrow evening, which should be lovely. Uh, Where is it? Uh, Lee Valley, so starting at the White Water Centre oh, yeah. and going down the river uh, and back again. I think. So, do you know if anybody? Do you know if people can enter on the day? Because if they if they are in that neck of the woods and they fancy it, you know they might want to go. I know it's an active training world event, so they do usually have entries on the day uh, if it's not booked. But have a look on the website; I'm sure there'll be some late entries. Yeah, so if you fancy a bit of sort of North London countryside, you know, uh, uh, um. In, in the evening, it'll be a bit of a different um, sort of experience mm. to go at sort of five o'clock in the evening. Then, you know, look at look it up. I can't promise that it's available. I can't promise that there's a ticket, but there might be. So, oh, um, 
if, yeah. you're, if you're with us live, yeah, just check that out. Ah, Gemma says we can still sign up. Yeah. And they oh, Gemma, was you invited? Can we ask Gemma, if, was she invited? <laughs> no? Anybody else? Let us know in the comments if they were invited. Go on. Sorry, I've been going to say. I'm going to do six miles again Sunday, I think. So, yeah. I'm yeah, you've out. got to step up your training. You need to get some longer miles in France then, really. Right. Um, so, um, what is it? So, so uh, you and I are uh, meeting, remember, early tomorrow. We're doing a, a secret tour tomorrow. Um, God, not, is there anything I need to know? No, there's nothing you need to know, Tope. But it genuinely no. is going to be 20 miles. It's not going to be any more or sure. any less. It genuinely is going to be that distance this time. But... Mm. We are sort of we're getting parachuted into a location and running home, um, so that should be good fun in the morning. But um, Tobe, don't be late because so I will kill you. I'll Just be late. As... And Wilco, a bit of consumer advice because I heard this because Simon was telling me on Tuesday. Is it true that there's you uh, there's a train strike or something going on at the big half weekend? Is that planned? Or did you? No, it's not a train strike. It's just rep it's just um, it's just. Um maintenance uh rail works that are gonna so there's going to be problems on the trains up. getting into london for the big just from our yeah just from our neck of the woods really our neck of the woods so a bit because i mean if you're in mongolia you don't care right so yeah or in argentina we're getting a lot of love in argentina recently we're getting a lot of love in argentina i've, I've always wanted to go to argentina so you know what do they call what do they to call? Do a personal appearance then we'll rock up yeah we're, we're happy to do a show in argentina if anyone wants to sponsor it and pay we maybe we'll get sketches big shout out to them um <laughs> They could, they could fly us out there on the jet. Go on, uh, Wilco. Close us out. Come on. Let's, right, let's let these people go. Out there. Well, thank you very much for joining us as ever, people. We always appreciate your company at 7 o'clock on a uh, Friday night, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, or if you uh, download us on uh, one of the various um, podcast providers, you know, the people, Spotify, Amazon, and uh, Apple, and those sort of people. We're available on there. So you can download us and take us away on your long run over the weekend. We will be back next Friday. Thank you very much to Sketches and and everybody who um, contributed to the con uh, to the show tonight via um, the polls that we put up about um, headphones and your running heroes. Keep sending them in. Um, email us, longrunshow at gmail.com, particularly about um with regard to the women in running special that we're running on the 19th and the mental health special on the 26th if you've got any questions like that please send them to us and we will put them to the various experts that we've got lined up so we will see you next week not live but we will be here there'll be an email special coming out at seven o'clock on youtube and facebook and we'll put it out on the um on the podcast as well thank you very much for your support enjoy your running this week take care and we will see you when we see you thanks so much mm -hmm.